Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Let your mind be holy. God's fire. Is that you must know yourself. You must know who you are in light of who Christ is. Please do not trivialize this. The challenges in life will not ask you where you are coming from. Uh -uh. They will ask you, whose son are you? That was the question that Saul asked David. When David dared to fight Goliath, he said, whose son are you? Where are you coming from? From whence did you muzzle this courage to stand before this beast that has even threatened the warriors of Israel? You must know who you are. Most people you see will tell you that they know who they are. It is not men who will ask you who you are. It's situations and circumstances that will ask you. They are the ones who are looking for that answer. The Bible says a man of honor. Please just spare me a few minutes and we're done. Wherever we stop, we'll continue tomorrow. Psalm 49 and verse 20, it says, Man that is with honor and knoweth not is like a beast that perisheth. A man who has been exalted with the potential of honor and grace, but because he does not understand it, he will die like a beast in the field. For instance, the prodigal son. The prodigal son was born into royalty under the watch of his father he would never know lack but now this young man had reduced himself to a point where he was feeding with swine it was a prophetic adumbration of the believers tragedy born in royalty born from royalty but that your current state can be depletion to a point that you are feeding with the swine and the prodigal son said to himself how many hired servants has my father and then I am here feeding with the swine even in his depraved position he still recognized the glory of his father he said I will arise and I will go back to my father and I will say father I have sinned against you and against heaven that I am not worthy to be called your son but that you take me as one of your servants and he got up and did that which he said he would do and as soon as the father saw him, royalty was restored in that instant. And a celebration began immediately. A man that is in honor and does not know will die like a beast in the field. Please hear me. The reason why many of you keep fighting on necessary battles is because you have listened to what everybody has said you are. But you have not found out what God has said you are. They've told you people who come from your place look like this. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Nathaniel did not lie except that Jesus was the son of God. And he that cometh from above is above all. You need to know who you are. This is not a Pentecostal lecture. This is a light requirement for an excelling destiny. When you know who you are, then you know what must be under your feet. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. There are stubborn children of rich men in this country and across Africa. And even though they are stubborn and disobedient, they are wise enough to know that their parents are wealthy. And even in the midst of their stubbornness, you will just manage them. There are things you cannot avoid. These are stubborn children of kings. Not to talk of children of the king of kings. There are, listen, let me tell you the truth. The knowledge of who you are in Christ does not produce pride, but it produces confidence. I'm walking in power, walking in miracles. I live a life of favor. I know who I am. I'm walking in power, I walk in miracles. I live a life of favor. I wish that transits from being a song to a revelation. 
that when you walk upon the earth, you walk with dignity and honor. Not because some person looked at you and said you will never amount to nothing. Because you did not take the time to know God, you don't even know what you look like. The Bible says, Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we are now called the sons of God. He says, Now are we the sons of God and it doth not yet appear what we shall be like. Just because I am evolving experientially. Listen, when you watch a little chick becoming the mother hen, at that point, she does not have all the qualities yet, but they are there. Watch the process of metamorphosis of an insect from the egg, the larva, the pupa. When you look at it and look at the insect, it does not look like it. But there is a transformation happening. Most of you are looking like many people today that are not God. You are looking like social media. You are looking like some, some ignorant person who does not respect the program of God. You must realize that the price for who you are is the blood of Jesus. If that sounds cheap to you, then allow anybody look down on you. Listen, believers, hear me. It took Jesus dying, dying to shed his blood. That was the price that purchased you. So any other thing that downplays you, you can shrug it away. Since wherein in time past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now walketh in the children of disobedience. Verse 3, it says, Among whom ye had our conversation. Stop there. I can talk a lot about that. Your conversation, your speaking, is a very potent revelation of where or where I think that should be what scripture is this just keep your hands there and let's look at um, help me Holy Spirit give us Isaiah 8 20 Isaiah 8 20 I pray that is it beautiful read it with me please everybody one to read to the law and to the testimony if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. That means there is a way those who carry light speak. That if, if you hear certain people speak, you don't need to feel bad. They are only revealing the bankruptcy of light. If they do not speak according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. It may not be that because they are bad. There are things you should not waste your time on. There is no light. Before you get into any spiritual discussion, verify that the person you are speaking to has light within him. Otherwise, you'll be speaking from two different dimensions. So when an uncle looks at you and says you're a failure, don't feel bad and say God punish you. No, verify. If that guy is speaking because there is no light in him, you will love him from afar with compassion and just pray that the mercy of God speaks for him. But as far as your confidence is concerned, surround it with the word of God like chariots behind the king. Surround The Bible says to cast not away your confidence for it has a great recompense of reward. Man of God, who has lied to you that you cannot rise and excel in ministry? Who has told you that you scrounge around in a defeated way? No. The difference between you and everybody you admire is light and access to the help of the Spirit. If you can submit yourself to light, there is no height you cannot attain. I tell you this. Excelling is not an exclusive preserve for a few. The same Lord is rich unto all. No shadow you will light up, mountain you will climb up, coming after me. No wall you will kick down, lie you will tear down, coming after me. Listen, I want you to go back and take the time, immerse yourself in the revelation of who you are in Christ. Don't study it like a Pentecostal. You will not get what you should get. 
respectfully speaking you understand what i mean don't carry religiosity and say no 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 no. settle down like a child of god what has the word of god says i am in christ and do not think that revelation is basic it is why many proud people still remain weak they act bold but the, the result that follow boldness is not there if i look at um p daniels and i call you a woman will you cry will you pray not for that why because there, there, there are too many you've been a man all your life there are too many revelations that have concretized that you see that when nathaniel looked at jesus and said can anything good come out of nazareth if he was somebody like elijah he would turn nathaniel to a rod first and then or an animal like it happened to the king then return him back and say what did you say again and demand apology but not jesus secured enough to understand the limitation of the man speaking listen there are too many of you fighting unnecessary battles those battles are a report card that there are many holes that have been punctured in yourself your sense of self-confidence i'm not talking about pride going around looking for trouble and harassing people emotionally i'm talking about a settled sense of confidence if god wants to bless 10 people you've heard me say i will start praying for the remaining nine because one slot is taken already what do you believe about yourself you are trying to use a new car to show you are successful a new house a new shoe those burdens are unnecessary every time the yoke is killing you it is not God's own he said my yoke is easy and my burden is light social media can give you a yoke God did not give you oh ladies this is how they behave this is how this one behaves and you put yourself in trouble yoking yourself with unnecessary things when god is already calling you a champion the status quo the mindset of mediocre people speaking based on the darkness that is within them now it's not for you to fight people and say no 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 no, no. i'm not teaching you to harass people but i'm giving you confidence to be able to sleep sound even if it is one room because your position of honor there is no physical house that can host that glory if christ came to live in you it is not just by translocating from one place to the other thank god for the physical expressions if you must watch a designer watch you must wear a designer watch to feel good about yourself then go and read the bible something is wrong with your orientation thank god for increase but these are only additions hear me Even when a crown of thorn was put on his head, Jesus did not refuse the fact that he was king. He didn't need a golden crown to accept he was a king. Some of you need to walk out of here with confidence. I may trek to my house, but while I am going, I'm speaking with honor and dignity that in the name of Jesus there are generations connected to me and with honor I will walk through the law of time and process no living a fake life no snapping near someone's car and putting it online no telling lies with, with, with security man of God do not be ashamed to celebrate the five members that you have don't go around telling lies and say I have the three thousand no 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 every one of those five people is worth the blood of Jesus mentor them with your all let God see you pray for them shout and teach them like you would teach in a crusade ground and the God who increases men when he comes to mark your script and to measure a thousand cubits for you listen insecurity is largely a spiritual problem first before a psychological problem and it is wounded people who wound others when you are secured in yourself you're not going to when you are wounded and you do not allow the word of god to heal you you will only find joy when others are frowning too because for as long as they are laughing it affects your state it reminds you and tries to concretize the fact that you are a failure secured people always long for the joy of everybody around them 
Are you listening now? Pastor, my apologies. I'm so sorry. Can I give you the third one? And then we'll pray. There are five. So, in pursuance of light, light that is the true light that excels, the first and the highest dimension of light you must seek is to know him. There is no end to this pursuit, not even your arrival in heaven. Because even in heaven, we will still come up hither. Learning God and seeking him will not come to an end. Number two, the knowledge of yourself in light of who Christ is, who you are in Christ, that you are the beloved, you are an heir of God and a joint heir with Christ. Very simple statements. Fathers like Papa Hagen, T. L. Osborne, R. W. Schambach, these men understood this thing with a depth of revelation. It was this kind of revelation that sponsored the audacity of men like John G. Lake that would hold viruses in their hands that were killing people because they knew by revelation that he that cometh from above is above all. For us, we just confess it without staying to receive it as a revelation. Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting, use it quickly. Oh, fire! Let your mind be holy. God's fire.